Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and uh, this time around, um, oh, uh, hang on, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm, I'm in a bit of a hurry right now, so expect some mistakes to be made. Um, to start with, uh, this is just going to be an out, there's just going to be some music I'm going to be playing in the background. Um, I need to keep the file size fairly low, because I can't, I can't be spending all morning uh, waiting for this thing to get uploaded. Uh, yesterday, I... I did both uh, a full video of uh, walking in the woods, and I also uh, had another video of uh, of some music going. I had two YouTube videos going at once. It jacked up the file size to five and a half gigabytes. That's almost as much as one of my stream vids. So it took at least it took at least two hours, two to three hours, just to get all of that taken care of on YouTube. I didn't have time to get it on Twitch. So this time around, I'm just gonna play some music. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and, and, uh, I do need to sound test this. All right, I'm going to jump it forward. Alright, I'm going to say close enough on that. Let me start it over. And also, I'm going to crack open a can of V8 Energy Peach Mango flavored. And this will be my very last can of V8 Energy. So, from here on out, um, unless, unless I can find the stuff like super, 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 super cheap somewhere, like cheaper than what they sell at Walmart, then I this will be it. They will have been completely phased out. So get ready for some pops. Um. Otherwise, I I had a fairly busy night um i went over went a bit over long on my stream and on top of that um i actually went pretty over long on my uh, final fantasy 14 blog post as well so because i was so busy getting it all typed up posted up and all squared away and stuff i completely missed my uh i completely missed my 8 p.m uh, laundry window i was gonna try to get laundry done as well but um the the place closes um quote unquote uh closes at 10 p.m which would have only given which uh which is about about the length of time it takes for me to do my laundry two hours so 8 8, 8 p.m was gonna cut it like really really close but uh i think by the time i got my blog post taken care of i think it was like 8 30 9 somewhere around there so missed the window so i'm probably gonna have to do it tomorrow evening now But luckily, I'm on vacation this week, so, so yeah, I got, I got time. I'll just go ahead and try to get it done tomorrow. Uh, but otherwise, just, just doing the usual, slobbing and napping, just watching, you know, watching stuff at mo watching stuff at random, and then having to lay down and take a like a one hour nap, get back up. It's kind of a rinse and repeat. Um, for at least part of the night anyway. So, another part, another good part of my night was spent, uh, was spent trying to, trying to get my uh, Twitch donation thingy set, reset. Because I just found out that, uh, the, the very few people that actually donate to my stream, um, are actually finding my, um, uh, pay, that PayPal is using is using my real life name and not my uh not my username joe schmo so i spent a good chunk of my night trying to get that rectified um i at the end of it all i basically had to create a brand new paypal account but i now have to wait for uh i have to wait for a paypal or paypal sent too little to deposits to my bank account i'm still waiting for them to come through 
And uh, I'm hoping that I don't have to do what I did on Stripe or what they wanted me to do on Stripe, excuse me. I actually had to provide photo ID and I had to show some kind of documentation, um, some kind of other documentation like a birth certificate or something like that. I'm like, I don't recall having to do this back when I first got my PayPal account. But Stripe makes you do it, and I, and uh, when I tried to change my, um, when I tried to change my name during my stream, it I think it said the same thing. It required a copy of my photo ID and some other kind of kind of proof of proof of existence, like a, again like a, like medical records or a pay stub or something like that. I'm like, really? So, so that was pretty much a no go. You know, and, and, and all this, all I want, all I want is a nickname. You know, I, so, this is a, this is a whole bunch of Rube Goldberg bullshit that I have to put up with. I, again, I just want a nickname. I just wanted to change my, I want to change my real name into a nickname. That's it. Um, but yeah, I, so... If this doesn't, if this new PayPal account doesn't work, then, um, I'm, oh, and, um, I did try to create, I tried creating a Patreon account as well, but it, again, it's a no-go. I, I tried to pay, I tried Patreon some odd years ago, years ago, back when I was streaming Final Fantasy XIV, but again, I, I just created it, didn't care for it, um, and even then, again, all I, all I want is a, a place where for people to send donations to where I only have to use my nick I only have to use my nickname not my real name but so far um, I don't think PayPal has it stripe doesn't have it I think there are others but then then the next question is how many of these do I have to go through until I find one that works you know so I mean like I said, I'm on vacation this week. But you know, I, I sure as hell don't want to be spending my vacation trying to find the right find the right PayPal place. So, and I think uh, the all, only other alternative is uh, I'm totally new to this, but uh, Twitch has a thing called Bits, where uh, where my viewers they can uh, purchase they can purchase these bits. With um, and I think you can only do it through either Amazon or PayPal. So, I, and, oh wait, wait, I, I might be wrong, but I think you have to be a Twitch partner in order for them to purchase bits. I might be wrong on that, but I thought I read somewhere that you had to be a partner. I'm only an affiliate. So. So otherwise, I don't really know what else to do. Like I said, I'm gonna. I'm waiting for these uh, two PayPal deposits to come through. If they don't, then I don't know. Cause like I said, I don't, I don't want to be spent. I mean, I don't want to be spending all week, you know, trying to find another one of these third-party uh, uh, bill paying things. I don't, I don't know the technical name for it. You know, cause I mean, I'm. I've, I've got at least I've got at least one person one person now that uh, he's he's actually wanting and he has he's donated to my uh, he's donated to my stream but uh, he was he was actually the person I think his name's I think his name's Jake Ryan but he was on my stream yesterday and he's he's you know he was the one that pointed out to me hey man they they're showing your real name they're showing your real name on here and that that put the gears in motion. I had to work on getting that rectified. But anyway, I'm. It seems that I'm starting to get to that point now, where people are are actually willing to give me donations. So I really want to get this resolved. But at the same time, I don't want to fucking burn myself out in the process either. So I'm uh, taking a drink. Oh, and I did forget to mention about this music. This is called Arcosaur, or it, it probably it's pretty obvious on the cover here. The Age of Reptiles. This is uh this is a subgenre 
of dungeon synth. It's called Dino Synth. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail. But uh I think this came out this came out just yesterday. So it's brand spanking new. Uh, but again, again, aside from that, just did a lot of, you know, just did a lot of loafing and a lot of watching. Um, and I, I guess one other thing, I'll go ahead and mention it. Um, I did order a copy of the Communist Manifesto. Kind of, it was, I was kind of inspired when I, when I talked on yesterday's cast about a, a YouTube channel called Second Thought. They, they basically mentioned the evils of capitalism, which, uh, which, I'm I'm actually kind of with Ann Rand on this, but um, I've said this before in other casts, but uh, I'm with her. You know, by definition, we're actually a mixed economy. We're not even a capitalist one. I mean, again, if you look at the textbook definition of it, I mean, it's like capitalism only really applies to the filthy rich, to the corporate people. Um, as far as the rest of us that aren't rich, we're basically living under under some form of pseudo dictatorship. Um, some say fascism, some say some say, you know, some you know, insert name of paramilitary political system here. But we're everybody else has fascism. I think that's the word. I I think it was Robert Reich who said it. It's socialism for the rich, fascism for everyone else. I think that's what he said. Don't quote me on that. But but anyway, even then, that it kind of proves my point, though. We're a mixed economy with a slight lean towards towards plutocracy, government by the wealthy, and um, what's the other one? Come on, Joe. Oligarchy, um, a government by the elite. Which, again, the elite being the wealthy. So, again, it's a mixed economy with a lean towards plutocracy and oligarchy. So, we got a little, ultimately, we have a little bit of everything here. I mean, we even have some socialism, too, as uh, Bill Maher once quoted. Socialism, you're sulking in it. Because uh, uh, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security... I believe those are all so, uh, socialist programs. Um, but yeah, but like I said, it's it's a mixed economy. It's just like Ayn Rand said. We got a little of everything. So, so there is actually kind of a there's actually kind of a misinterpretation because I think um, some people have bashed her saying she's pro capitalist, which she is. She is um, staunchly pro capitalist, but again. What we have now is not capitalism, okay. at least by definition. It's a mixed economy. So, um, so what would true capitalism look like? I really don't know. But again, um, you. But according to what most most other uh, revolutionaries would say, you'd probably have to ask the wealthy people what capitalism is, because it seems to only apply to them. But again, the reasoning, but kind of the reasoning behind me ordering this book is no, is I don't want to become a communist or anything like that. It's just, you know, with as, as, as fucked up as things are these days. Oh, that, and that was another thing. That was another thing. Um, Second Thought had a video that came out, I think, like a few days ago. There's a, there's a, a super, a school superintendent in Florida. He was wanting to instill anti-communism educate into no what was it anti-communism concepts into the education system down there in Florida and but yeah he he made a whole video about this but you know I mean we've been anti-communist for many many years but now with as messed up as things are right now I I think might be it might be a good time to you know I just kind of thought of this you know I've never really actually read a book on communism. All I know about it is just what people have told me. And then um, to a lesser extent, what I've read in uh, Ayn Rand's philosophical books and Atlas Shrugged, uh, that I, 
I that is a very hard book for me to read, but again, th this is all I had to go on. So I thought maybe why not just go ahead and buy the actual manifesto book itself. You know, read it and let's you know, you know, let's let's find out. You know, let, let me let me find out for myself what this you know what communism is really is. Cause it's, once again, all I really know about it is what's being fed to me by every, everybody else. So, um, but sometime after ordering this, um, I really actually did another, um, another thing I thought of too is, uh, if you were to take communism at face value, actually a good chunk of, uh, a good chunk of video games out there. So, um, I don't, I don't, I think, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics was one of them. Where, um, games where the lower class is trying to overthrow the tyranny of the upper class. Again, Tactics is one of them. I think Final Fantasy VII is another. Um, and, uh, but yeah, numerous video games out there are, if you look at the storylines, they're, in, you know, at face value, are basically communism. They're basically communist storylines, communist and maybe uh, socialism as well. You know, so, so I, so yeah, um, I guess in that sense, Bill Maher was right. Socialism, you're soaking in it and possibly communism as well. So, I mean, again, lots of video game storylines are socialist ones and communist as well. But again, that's unconfirmed. That's why I ordered the book. I want to find out for myself. But um, politically, the one game that comes to mind is it's got to be Ogre Battle 64. Um, and I'm kind of risking having Nintendo coming after me with a cease and desist for this. So, so for those of you that have uh, for those of you that have that have watched this video and you like it, I encourage you to download it because again. Um, Nintendo are basically a bunch of assholes when it comes to their IP. I mean, any, any, um, they're, you know, they hate emulation, they hate fan creations, they try to shut them down. So, if they were to somehow find out that I have this, this image here, they might, uh, come after me and try to shut this, uh, video down as well, possibly my whole channel. So, again, if you find something you like, download it because it may not be up for very long. But the the main good guy in there, the main good guy, uh, Frederick Raskin, but he leads the Revolutionary Army, but again, what you're looking at here, um, he's a socialist slash communist. If you were to, if, if you were to take, if you were to take the reason, if you were to take the concepts at face value from what you, you know, from what you hear, on you know, on second thought, Bill Maher, so so on and so forth. Not not the stuff on Fox, not the stuff you see on Fox News and you know the mainstream media outlets. They're gonna they're gonna paint them in a bad light. I'm talking the the more realistic definition of socialism and communism. But again, you know, you're soaking at it. Lots of video games out there have these kind of storylines on it. And Ogre Battle 64 is no exception. But, but yeah, um, but the main good guy in there, he definitely would be one person that I'd vote for. But you'd have to, you'd have to play the game. You'd have to play the game, or, uh, I only, uh, I only did a brief amount of research, just enough to, just enough to download my, download the images so I can put them up on this video. So, my, uh, my research into Ogre Battle 64 is very scant. Like I said, just enough to get a couple images. So, which, really, I should be saying this in my behind-the-scenes, but... Oops! So... Yeah, um, but otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here, and hey, well, how about that? The album, the album is going to be over in a minute anyway.
this is a short one. So, but thank you guys for uh, tuning in and listening to me, though. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming around and see you all next time. Bye for now.